Welcome back to, to this emergency intercom. To this episode of Emergency Intercom. It makes sense. I, I everybody gets mad because I mention it every single episode. But I was watching Brittany and Sarah's podcast, and they also say "Welcome back." Like it's not that crazy because it's like you were here last week. I'm welcoming you back. But no, it, you would welcome them back to emergency intercom like welcome back to emergency intercom oh but the problem is we say this, this episode. episode oh i think Brittany and them say welcome back to um i can't think of the name of their podcast i've seen two episodes though and you loves it they're so fucking they funny. were cracking me up um no free promo no free promo cut 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 cut, cut. <laughs> um but yeah, it makes... Okay, fine. Welcome back to Emergency Intercom. Yup. Hey! <laughs> um, any updates from your life, Drew? Uh, other than me being the most stressed, anxious, irritable person I think I've ever been, not really much of an update. Our periods literally I know, we actually We did had, actually sing. We actually had like an irritable like last three days together. And I can't describe... I mean, what it was actually was I had neglected a bunch of work stuff um, and I just like let it fester in my brain that it was like the end of the world if I just didn't get it done when like in reality, like it's not the end of the world. And yeah. I've like calmed down a lot, but I still have this just like lingering stress and anxiety that I'm like something like I'm, I'm missing something like I'm missing like I, I don't know how to describe it. But um, other than that fucking awesome um oh how was also to give context me and drew have been separated for the past like week um, it's been the longest we've been away from each other ever <laughs> um but we've been separated drew and the crew went on a beautiful road trip and i went to new york to partake in capitalism and consumerism and you loves shopping she's addicted to shopping i'll, I know, it's I'll actually explain a problem. the um road trip yeah so like me and Orion, we wanted to go on a road trip. And like a week before, we had just been like throwing ideas out there. We were like, we need to go. Let's go next week. Like blah, 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 blah. It wasn't really coming to fruition. And, and I don't think either of us believed it was going to actually happen. And then the night before we left, I was just like, let's go to the Grand Canyon. I've never seen it. And I want to like see it. I feel like it's going to make me cry. Like that's one of those things that's just like so breathtakingly beautiful. And I feel like you have to see it at least once in your life. Um, and the night before we booked an Airbnb and got yeses from Christian and Josh and me, Orion, Christian and Josh just hopped in the car the next morning at 9 a.m. and drove all the way to Arizona. Um, and we didn't end up going to the Grand Canyon. We went to like a part oh, really? of it. Yeah, we went to, I mean, it is technically the Grand Canyon, but we went to Page, Arizona and we went to Antelope Canyon, which is fucking beautiful. It was it it doesn't make sense i don't understand how that's like a real fucking place on earth like we'll insert photos but it was like genuinely shocking it, it it like made me tear up i was like what the fuck like places like this just exist and like no one really know about it knows about it like okay like whatever i mean granted like iphone takes all their backgrounds there or apple takes all their background photos there and yeah. shit um, and then in the same day, we cruised over to Horseshoe Bend. Um, and that's where the iconic photo came from of me surrounded by fucking flies. I can't, I couldn't believe the flies in that. I was like, you fully do look like a dead body. I was stinky. I was a <laughs> stinky boy. We had been hiking all day. But yeah, we just did that in the same day. And then the next day we drove home and it was nice. How was the driving? Uh, Christian drove the entire time and it was the most... It felt like an hour long drive. Like it was not. I'd had zero complaints. Like it was actually crazy. Dude, that's fucking um, awesome. Christian's a freak like that. Anytime we do any kind of like road tripping, he always is like, "I'll I'll drive, I'll yeah. drive." But I guess I do that too. So we end up like kind of butting heads. When we went to Big Sur, we would be like, "I'll I'll drive, I'll drive." But I ended up doing a lot of driving because I like literally have no fear because. Also, for context, Big Sur is, like, on the West Coast. Like, to get there, you have to kind of go up the PCH. Mm -hmm. um, 
And that road can be scary because it's literally like on a cliff. But I literally have zero fears because again, like if we go, we go. Not even if that. Like time, if we time. died, it would be because I made it happen. Like no one's gonna. It's not gonna be an accident. It's not gonna. It's like me. Like I'm in charge <laughs> here. Like we're just not gonna die, babe. Um, yeah. But yeah, that sounds fucking sweet. Well, I literally went <laughs> and spent money and bought stupid fucking clothes. The clothes are pretty. Yeah, they're, all they're the clothes pr- are clothes. slay. Like, I have really good fucking taste. I'm going to do a haul on the Patreon. Slay. Um, I almost suggested it, but I was like, I don't know. I yeah, don't no, know I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a haul. Wow. I, I'm trying to lessen up on my gatekeeping um, yeah. because it's like an issue. You know what's crazy is one of my friends in real life asked me what pants these were. Um, and he was like, unless like you're trying to gatekeep it from me. And I was like, I was like, oh my God, people like literally think I'm like an actual gatekeeper. People who do that shit to like face to face. Like if anyone asks me where something is on my body, I will say, or like yeah. ask me what I'm listening to. I will say, but it's when it's like to a big audience on the internet that I'm like, oh, <laughs> you need to know, like, come on. Um, but yeah, what did I do? Oh my god, actually, I, I have, have to say this. I'm literally so nauseous from those fucking vitamins right now, and I it's like bubbling up my throat because <laughs> I didn't eat it with it. I didn't have any food with it, and it's like I have vitamin breath right is now. Is that a fucking flum float? No. It's what not. is that? No, I'm going not. to get it. No, no, folk. Oh. Oh, why is it shaped like this? Oh. Why did they make them short and stout? Ooh. It's kind of pretty. Ew. Oh, no, stop. You can see where, like, since it's clear, you can see the wax. Oh, my God. Your lungs look like that. Yeah, it's bad. That's serve. You're serving <laughs> apocalyptic. Sub- <gasps> your lungs are serving subversive basis. <laughs> yes, they're all ripped to shreds on the inside. And um, they're, uh, uh, what's the color? Palette. Uh, neutral color palette lung. Earth tone. It, this, is earth not tone. A fl- this is not a flum float. It's a real flume roam. <laughs> And it's energy drink flavored. <laughs> and it hurts me so bad. I wanted to show you this. <gasps> you did it? Wait, look. What the hell? I'm so jealous. Dead ass body. <laughs> <laughs> I'll insert it on the vodka. Literally page just. <laughs> I'm jealous. Um, you did wait. not have to air me out. This is actually an AirPods container. It's got my AirPods. <laughs> I'm sorry. I literally saw it on the counter and I was like, is my brain like like warping things? Because I thought they were tall. Um, so yeah, my weekend, I went shopping. It was a vibe. I cried on my birthday. Oh. Um, you cried again? Of course, you know, you, it's you not know, my birthday unless you, I cry. You got to cry You already birthday. know. I actually sobbed my little ass off. Um, was it like a good one or like a, a sad it cry? was sad but it was sad but like also like at the end it was good but like i'll i'll like read like a small thing i wrote um it's not that serious <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that deep i'm 23 and i feel like i've been pooping less and less which is scary i'm getting old and that means that my <laughs> that my metabolism is slowing down also, I sobbed on my birthday because I'm so terrified of forgetting things and life is so sweet and fragile and I wish I could just bottle everything up and hide it and I love living so much as painful as it is. I'm very stubborn and I don't want to not be a part of the beauty of living. And that's literally Aww. why I stay alive. It's because I'm... L- you don't want to miss the beauty of living, which is me. You would say that. Yeah, I guess. I, but like, you're you're taking it away like you're pretty. No, bitch. You're just like a fucking fool. I'm sexy, hot. You're- I'm not pretty. I understand that. I'm sexy. You are attractive in a lot oh! of ways. Oh! You are attractive in a sexual connotation. That was real. <laughs> You're so Whoa, sexy. okay. Okay. Are y'all going to clap each other up or something? <laughs> no, I'm going to tap that later. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, while I'm on my notes. Oh, and then the other thing I did is like there was... In like Brooklyn, there was this thing. It was it's called like Area Fifty Three, um, and it literally is what I just showed you. It's oh, like it's, like, main it's like an indoor like there's like a, a little course, like a zip lining, like there's like a thing to fight and like. Is there laser tag? All the shit. Yeah, there's like laser tag. tag. So fucking bad. Maybe there's that's what we do for my birthday. Um, there's laser tag, paintballing, roller skating, 
arcade like it was an insane array of things one when i got in there i was like i've have not been this overstimulated in so <laughs> fucking long i went in the bathroom and they had a dj and he was just like playing since the hella- universal ride no oh my god literally one time i cried on the fast and Fur- furious universal ride because it was the same sound that made me almost have a panic attack it was that <laughs> air like the like, air shooting like it was terrifying but you were in the blast zone <laughs> like, you it like blew you it up. literally blew the back of my neck off yeah um but yeah i almost had a panic attack in there but it was a zip line and stuff and i just like it was 21 and up and i was just really intrigued because i was like looking around and i was like it is comical like all these like we're all adults like we're all like like it's not like oh like i just turned 18 i'm an adult like we are all grown ass adults <laughs> like age regressing is that is that a naughty thing i don't know i think age age regressing is a naughty thing is it I, really? I, I don't know i don't know i just don't want to get in trouble for anything ever again yeah <laughs> <laughs> true um, but yeah everyone was like just like playing like i don't know it was so funny it's cute. i wanted to record so many people because there was like this ninja course with like ropes hanging down from the wall and there was this tall ass lanky dude all alone in the corner playing Aww. and he was like like really struggling because it's just like a balance thing and he was about to bust his ass every three seconds and i was like this is insane because in any other context like this man would not want to look this like demasculated like i don't know how, like not to get like too deep about it but i was just like it was just such a childish thing to see a grown man do that it was like hilarious and i feel like any other context he would not be okay with like being like laughed at yeah but because we were all in there just being stupid it was just like funny um, that's really cute actually yeah it was and just, i'm jealous of that it was fucking fun i bet there was something like that in la i was like damn these that's like also awesome. if you're like an old bag like i can say that because i'm literally old as shit um and you like didn't have the college experience and you're kind of like lonely that's like a great place to make friends and i'm being genuine like i feel like that's like a good place for weirdos to make maybe friends. but also everyone there was like in big groups of friends so then it's like the scariest place to go alone like you're scary if you go there alone <laughs> you're a killer <laughs> yeah, you're, a you're a killer and a watcher also there was a thing that it was like uh filling it out they didn't check our vax cards all they had was this sign up thing like the sign in thing that you had to put yes or no if you were vaxxed and there were a few no's and i was like oh (laughs) like what the fuck is happening in here but yeah like drew was saying i've also been so fucking irritable the past four days um i'm gonna blame it on my period because i literally was on my period but like really yeah, periods are gross. They, you, you shouldn't knock something till you try it because it tastes really good. <laughs> <laughs> periods are so gross at girls. <laughs> um, but anyway, yesterday when I'm I was I'm written by a man. That's like I'm gonna start saying that. <laughs> Can you shut the? Why is that a bad thing to be written by a man? If you were written by a man, you would have a plump, firm ass and like tiny, big, succulent tits. No, I had big jugs. <laughs> big milkers. Her her firm, round ass and her, her tits that did not her move when she boobs. walked until she fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, but, <laughs> Mirakami. Beat yeah, like. literally, that's what I was thinking about. Um, anyways, I have to tell my fucking airport story yesterday because it was literally the most irritating shit that's ever fucking happened to me no it is a nightmare so i was just really sad leaving new york don't have to get into details or or not it's i'm saying it like i'm hiding some shit it's literally i just love love my friends there i love being there and every time i leave i'm sad but then every time i'm here i want to stay here longer but whatever it's like a big issue but um I was like sad leaving and I was like in the Uber fucking crying because I was just like, I don't know, like splitting my time between two places, three places is like hard. So I was just like really emotional and it was a late flight and I was like, my only goal, the only thing that will make me happy right now is if I just get in there, get through, get like a Starbucks drink, like a coffee. But like, it it sounds stupid, but like, it literally, it made sense because I was just like, I don't want to sleep on this flight. Like I need caffeine so I can stay up. And then when I get home, I can knock out because I'll be tired. 
So Starby. I get to the airport and like I go and like pay for a checked bag and I'm like standing at the kiosk waiting for it to print my fucking bag tag and it just never comes out. So then I have to go get in this dumb line to go with all the other dumb folks who don't know how to fucking use a kiosk, which I think <laughs> is so annoying. Like I, I'm not kidding. I genuinely think when I am in the airport, I am the only human with common sense in the airport like yep and i genuinely believe that i'm not even saying that like on a funny level i genuinely think everyone in the airport except me is the dumbest person what if we're in the airport together um i'm still top tier you're you're just following behind me so you're looking a little smart i beg to differ we can agree to disagree though (laughs) um so i had to go get in fucking line get my kiosk bag whatever that took long and it's already like 7 15 and in my head i i hadn't checked when that starbucks closes but i was like it's definitely not open late it's like those dumb motherfuckers always close early which makes no sense it's an airport there's hella people here always anyways um i get in line at fucking tsa and I, there was two lines and i saw one that looked short it looked like it was really quick and i went to walk there and this lady saw me and she's like oh you could go this way there's two lines this way So I'm like, okay. And I almost lied and was like, my flight board's in 10 minutes. I need to go now. But I was like, whatever. Let me not be like a liar. Um, So I turned and I went. And as I'm walking to the shorter line, it gets cut off by one of the other TSA agents. They cut it off. And then now I'm stuck in this one big ass line with a family of genuinely four fucking toddlers and an infant. And I was like, awesome. I'm going to be in this line forever. Everyone's moving slow as shit. Like they literally don't have a flight to get on. Um, And then this girl, this fucking bitch, I, she like... I'm about to put my stuff down and she comes up with like one of the TSA agents and he's like, like, all right, put your stuff down. Like skipping. Was she pretty? No. Okay. I feel like for some reason, I feel like she didn't have a mask on because I know exactly what her whole fucking face. Oh, I know what her whole dumb face looks like because when I got in the airport, she was literally waltzing around talking on the phone without her mask (laughs) on. And I was like, this dumb bitch, like also she. I get to call her a cunt and a piece of shit bitch because she's like my age. So like I should have slapped the fuck out of her. Um, so she was literally lounging around talking on the phone and she literally goes, yeah, I've been here forever. Like I, that's what I heard her say on the phone. But now this bitch is skipping me. Wow. And I was like, I have a feeling this dumb cunt is on my flight. And she fucking lied. Talking about it's it's going to be late. She's going to be late. She's not going to be fucking late. Anyways. She's moving slow as shit. She has the most things I've ever seen a human fucking travel with as a carry-on in my life. She has two pairs of shoes tied to the sides of a bag and, like, three jackets on her. Oh, she's I was a like, tweaker. Yeah, she's literally, like, dope sick in the airport. <laughs> um, I need age. <laughs> she finally gets through. I finally get through. I need age. I don't have any age for you right now, Drew. <laughs> she finally gets through. I finally get through. And I'm just, like so annoyed and angry and like irritable now because now i'm just like angry instead of sad and i'm like running borderline to the starbucks like i literally am cutting around people like trying to take shortcuts i'm like speed walking my ass off and i get as far as i am from drew right now to the line and a worker (laughs) comes and cuts off the line right as i'm about to walk in line and i just stand there and stare and i literally start crying like i just start (laughs) sobbing because i was like that was the most like irritating also on top of everything the uber was like a 70 dollar uber and it was like a 45 minute ride so i was just like this has been the most irritating hour and a half of my fucking life and now i have to get on a five hour flight um yeah and i saw my ass off and then i told this to drew but i immediately put on my finsta on my story i was like if my plane crashes today i will be the luckiest woman on earth and then i got really scared of my plane <laughs> crashing so i took it, it would down have been before, iconic though i took it down before anybody saw it because i got scared oh my god i also took it down because i was like what if my plane does crash everyone who sees this is gonna feel so bad because they're gonna see it and be like she's so silly well i fell in the shower (laughs) i fell in the shower so it was probably because of me honestly because i used my oh shit it has been has it been it's fine i just i heard it i didn't want to bring it up oh you No, we're in a good groove right now you You don't get to pee you get to pee in a, a cup yeah, like you're like. You think you get bathroom breaks? What is this, Amazon? The- <laughs> you don't get bathroom breaks here. Um, I actually have to really pee bad too. <laughs> no, we'll go pee together in the toilet. Oh, okay. Y'all can hold each other's wieners. Oh, that sounds cool. 
I guess I'll wait. Let me think about it. Let me think about it real quick. I don't know if Kai should be allowed to pee. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome back. We just had a piss break. We opened up our holes and just let it all out. Yeah, I just spread and then squeezed. Squeezed? Internally. Oh, okay. That is actually a crazy mechanic that, like, (laughs) humans have. Is that, like, we just open the gates and they just, it, like, comes out. Like, you flex your abs a little bit. Like, I can do it, like, I unconsciously just, like, pee. Yeah. That's weird, no? (laughs) That's weird, no. Shut the fuck up. It is, though. Like, it is kind of, like, curious. Um, But, yeah, you were saying you slipped in the shower? Yeah, that's all I wanted to say about it. When? Wait, when was it? Was it? When you were in New York. It was, it was, like... It was in the midst of my, like, anger. Wait, was it the first day you got back from Grand Canyon, though? I don't remember exactly what day it was. Because it might have been fully my fault. Because oh, I had my these- God. It literally <laughs> was. And it was the fucking oil pouches, right? Yeah. Those Glossier bath bombs are so incredibly... Okay. Glossier has bath oil things that are so incredibly oily. Like, I have bath oils that work and, like, aren't that oily. But those ones, you kind of need, like, two for, like, the aroma, like, therapy vibes. Yeah. But they are so incredibly oily, it makes it, like, dangerous. Yeah, it was scary. Like, okay, just imagine <laughs> this. Like, you butt I'm naked. a butt-ass naked, grown-ass, disgusting man Which in the shower. sexy. And I'm just washing my body. And when I wash my body, I step out of the stream of the shower. I don't know if that's a normal... That's something we don't discuss is, like, shower habits. Like, like no one showers the same. There's no way everybody showers the same. But, like, when I'm, like, washing my body, I get out of the water... And I just stand in, like, the least stream of water. I don't know how to yeah. explain it. And I, like, wash my body, whatever. Um, and That's as I was classic. walking back into the stream, I didn't, like, completely collapse. Yeah, yeah. But, like, I, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, did, like, the little foot thing. Like, <laughs> and, like, slipped. And it felt like I was falling for, like, 30 seconds. And I just, like collapsed in my side i didn't catch myself on there because like when i went to grab (laughs) slipped down but it like took most of my fall and i just like like hit that on my side no bruise i'm good no lung no lung damage all that like i'm good but yeah i had no lung damage yeah i didn't like puncture a lung with my rib or anything yeah so I'm um, a strong that's fully, boy. That's fully my fault. And, and, I, thought, I'm, and, and I, I was ass naked, too. It's so And I thought about it before um, before I left. I was like, this is going to be the slipperiest thing ever. <laughs> and then I just, like, it, it left my mind. <laughs> um, I was going to bring something up that I have to ask. I don't, I don't know if I can bring it up. I'm scared. Should I talk about my Tony Lopez DMs? Yes, please. Talk (laughs) about the fucking Tony Lopez DMs. Are you kidding me? Trolling that man is the funniest thing you've ever done. Or... Close to the funniest thing. Or should we... No, no, no. I'll I'll save this shit. This shit is so stupid. Like... No, you save it. I don't even want to read it. um, Okay. I'm shocked. So, Tony Lopez, as most of you know, is a TikToker who... Is an evil man. Yeah. Evil not, person. Not a good person. Um, those 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 little Lopez brothers. Those, ah, those freaks. Bad guys. Um, we don't have to get into what he's done. We all know he's no bueno. Um, but before all that shit came out, when he was like still in the hype house and at the peak of his shit, in 2020, randomly, I was like, I, I went through a phase where I was like, I want to see how many like random men... I can talk to like and just kind of troll and like flirt with and see like where it goes like what conversations can I have with these motherfuckers of course um so Tony dude, Lopez oh my god was looking the, at the dude, it's so much um so it starts on July 15th 2020 at 5 20 p.m I just say you are so fucking hot mind <laughs> you I didn't follow him or anything like I didn't follow him like it was never like that and he's July 17, 2020, he says, hey, queen. I say, ha, hi, Tony. It has an extra H in there. So Literally, I wanted you to and see- Tony are like two queens maximizing your joint slay. <laughs> hey, queen. And he says, hey, heart. And I said, um, dot, 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 hi. He says, what you doing, love? Also, I'll put it all on screen so you can see all this typed out. Or I won't, Kai will. That's his fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
He says, what you doing, love? Smiley face. Oh, wait, should we read this like you're him? Fine, I'll be fucking Tony. Okay. You, you know I can't read out loud, though. We have to like... You, okay. You are so fucking hot. Hey, queen. <laughs> I'm just like I'm really like getting into the role. You're like you're hella flamboyant. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Tony. Hey. Um. Hi. What you doing, love? Um. Ha ha. Nothing. How about you? Sorry, I am so awkward. I am nervous. <laughs> it's okay. It's it's honestly kind of cute. Can I sing for you? Please. What is your favorite song? Literally anything Weekend or Frank Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> is this a Casey Frey thing? LMAO. Who is that? Stop playing. Sing me this song. For side context, I thought he was getting a little snarky and rude. No. Damn. I'll sing you a song. To be honest, you're awesome. Can you sing Suit and Tie by Justin Timberlake? Uh, I might sound stupid, but I'll try. And then I was like, he's catching on and I don't like this. So I just stopped replying. But then he was feeling a little crazy. Yeah, so like, four hours later, he says, what's your number? Hi, I don't have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. And then months later, <laughs> like a month later, I go, I miss us. Do you like my haircut? Because this is when I got my pixie cut. I was just making sure he was still interested. I don't know. Oh, he this sends, is the he part. He sends a crazy fucking photo. I have to see if I, ha I can find it, but I have a video of me and Orion opening the photo together. <sighs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Uh, Ew. <laughs> Literally, both of us audibly go... Ew. Because he started, he was trying to, I think, cater to my senses and like be funny. But his version of funny was like silly derp face funny. Derp. <laughs> Ermy gird. <laughs> so I did a thing. Ew. So I said, do you like my haircut? And he sent like a photo of himself. And I said, are you okay? And then he sent a video of himself. <laughs> And, and he was twerking and like shaking his ass and it was like disgusting. no literally he had his leg up by his head it was like a very was like i was weird. like you were he was showing how flexible he was yeah he wanted me to turn that thing up i love the hair thanks you were scaring me kind of why and then he sent another video and i think in the video he was like I can't sleep right now derp like that was his vibe <laughs> so i said this is literally you right now <laughs> This meme. When you can't sleep, so you stay up looking at memes. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> and sent another photo. And then I never replied. And then all the shit came out. And I was like, I'm going to continue trolling him and see if he just like keeps replying. Or is at this point, is he like really not fucking with people he doesn't know? Because he's like scared of getting exposed again or some shit. So then again, like m a month later, I say, also, for context, and no more Drew of saying his replies because I have not heard from him since, but he sees every, every single message. one of my DMs. He opens them all without fail, and this has been going on for a year. <laughs> August 20th, 2020. Can I see your abs? August 21st, 2020. Is that a no? July 15th. Let's set up the situations like that we're in. We're in a big group of people every single time one of these messages is sent. And we're projecting the DMs onto our TV <laughs> through screen share. And it's just a whole group like laughing fucking out loud. Yeah, just like cracking up because we want to see him open it. And he always opens it. <laughs> yeah, like he always opens it. Fail. Is that a no? July 15th. Do you ever think of me? Oh, this is a year later now. Yeah. <laughs> this is July 15th, 2021. Do you ever think of me? July 18th. Hello? August 22, 22nd. Hey! <laughs> September 7th. Please. Can I call you? I need someone right now. Help. I need a ride. Uber is being weird about masks. And I'm not into this vac shit. Between us. Don't screenshot. And then we sent a selfie of Finn. <laughs> um, 
Come and get me now. Can you send a selfie so I know it's you replying and not your manager or something? I know you miss me. Whatever. And then also, this is all at like 10 p.m. Like, all within the same five seconds. So he opens that. Does it say anything? Rude. September 16th. I know you're awake. Give your number, Pete. <laughs> please. I need to call right now. Please. Minutes later, I say, hello. Um, Your phone is ringing, Drew. Damn, I'm just... My phone is blowing up right now. It's actually crazy how many friends I have. Sure. Uh, September 16th. Hey, I'm trapped. I sent a photo and I don't remember what the photo is. <laughs> <laughs> Probably you in a dark place in our house. There's an air vent you can access me from. <laughs> don't share. I know you have a girlfriend, but are you free right now? And then this was the latest one. December 13th. I replied to his selfie and I said, stop, JK. Crying emoji, glove emoji. Hey, do you know me? Me on first date, the circle with an X through it, and the glove. And I said, do you get it in terms of protection? Whatever. What the fuck is wrong with you? And then he saw that. So it just says scene. Um, Dude, such a cursed ass vibe. <laughs> sending the no glove emoji and saying, me in terms of protection. I have an air vent you can access me from. <laughs> Dude, that's actually crazy that you ha- brought up your DMs with Tony Lopez because I, yesterday, was scared. <laughs> Scamming a scammer in my DMs is oh, awesome. What's that? What happened? Okay, so one of my like locals accounts got hacked, um, and at first uh, I thought it was real. It was like the most strange DM I've ever gotten in my entire life, like from um, someone from my hometown. And he just said, "Hey," and I said, "What's up?" He said, "I really need your help right now." And immediately red flag, like, okay we haven't spoken six years like you don't need my fucking help yeah and i said shoot he said i need 50 dollars right now i will give it back to you tomorrow morning with praying emoji um and i are automatically knew it was a scam from here and i said what for he said i want to get some medications and groceries from the store i'm really down at the moment and i said what and he said what <laughs> and i said sorry I'm, I can give you money, but you have to do something for me. I only have $15 arm. <laughs> okay. Where should I send it? Wait, I freed up some funds. I can send you $1,000. I don't want a, a friend in need to suffer. Okay, Venmo or per- PayPal. Perfect. I said perfect. <laughs> and he said he sent his Venmo. Um, and also, he's dumb as shit because his Venmo doesn't match <laughs> my local's name. Um, and he said, send it here um, and send a screenshot after you send it. And I said, also, I have one more question before I send the money. There was a time in high school when we both wanted each other but couldn't have each other because <laughs> our parents forbidding our love. When we kissed, did you feel what I felt or am I insane? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so happy we're opening this conversation again. I miss what we could have had. He said, oh, yeah, I, you felt. <laughs> I didn't respond. I opened it. He said, where are you? Are you there? And I said, sorry, I'm really nervous because I think I loved you and I want to rekindle this relationship. Is the spark still there? Am I wasting my time? I'm about to send the money, but I need you to tell me you love me. (laughs) And I got this scammer to say, I love you so much with two red hearts. And then I said, oh my God, thank you. I love you too. Um, Can you send me a nude of your body for old time's sake? And then I sent a screenshot that I photoshopped of me sending him money. Um, I sent money to my sister and she has yet to send me the money back. And I think she's going to steal the thousand dollars from me. And then I said, I sent it video call. He didn't answer. I said, hello. Still no answer. Nudes, please. (laughs) Nudes now, please. I'm begging you. I just sent you $1,000 and this is how you repay me. Video call, no answer. He said, thank you. And I said, nude. Video call, no answer. Video call, no answer. He said, what the fuck? You do me fake payment. Fuck you. Um, And I said, how do I fake that? Who got it then? The money left my account. It's not a real payment. Don't fuck me, dude, is what I said to him. And, and then he said, send me your balance. And I sent him a photo shopped of my balance with the <laughs> with it saying I sent it to him. Um, he said, I said, this, can you send it back? I'm starting to regret this. I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. He said, I don't see anything here. My dad has cancer and I have to pay for his chemo. I shouldn't have done this. Is there a way I can get my money back? I'll give you $200 if you give me my money back. He said, I don't see anything. And I said, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. This is so bad. This is fucked. This is so bad. How am I going to pay for anything now? I have so much love to give and nowhere to put it. This is God punishing me for something I did. 
what the fuck do I do? He said, fuck you, do me fake payment. Um, <laughs> and I said, please, please send it back. I'm begging you. And I said, oh my God, wait. Haha, ha, it didn't go through. <laughs> Thank God I thought he sent $1,000 away. And he said, he said, I said I don't see anything here. And I was like, wow, thank you so much for helping me. Dude, somehow Venmo, me sent, or Venmo sent me $1,250 back. So I made $250. What the hell? <laughs> He was like, I said, wait, do you still need the cash? And then I sent this photo. <laughs> I said, my beautiful sister. <laughs> Yours is so much better. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and, then he, and then I just was like, fuck you, scammer bitch. I hope you learned a valuable lesson. How did you even fall for that, like, actually? That's um, fucking awesome. <laughs> and wait, you saying <laughs> I'll give you 200 if you send me the 1000 back. <laughs> I really just wanted him to send me money. I wanted him to send me at least a dollar so I could yeah. have just scammed a scammer but i got a lot of fun out of it dude that's so fucking sometimes fun. in life you just have to have fun <laughs> write that down y'all <laughs> quote me on that sometimes you just gotta make fun what i was trying to like you made a quote that i wanted to do I made a good quote and you made sometimes just fun and <laughs> i said sometimes you just I don't know what I said. I literally don't know what I said. <laughs> I'm literally no. I'm actually fucking dope sick Fuck right now. Like me, for man. my birthday, I tried H and like I can't. Like I want it so bad, but I can't go back. I can't. We're I going to I Mexico and I'm buying drugs over the counter. I don't care. I'm gonna have a bender. Kai, did you realize that you can buy all drugs over the counter in Mexico? What? Yes. You can buy any drug. Not any drug, but like prescription drugs. So I'm about to relax. <laughs> I'm about to relax. Come on. Wait, okay. Um, I'll go through my notes for funsies. Um, that was a joke. I said. I'm stronger than that. <laughs> yes. I have willpower. <laughs> I said, I refuse to take birth control. I'm very much serving fertile, but I do want to get pregnant. Not for the sake of having a baby, but for the sake of the drama. And then getting to drink alcohol with cum in my ovaries. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Because <laughs> technically if I drank while I like found out I was pregnant, like I, I it's not like a baby baby yet. So it's not the fun of being like, kill that thing. I guess no, once you're... Once you're serving positivity in pregnancy, like you're serving baby to like a very small scale. I, we don't have to get into that. Conflict. Literally, what are you saying right now? I'm saying I'm pro-choice. Okay. That's like okay. that was a long way to say pro-choice. <laughs> In the end, we got there. Yeah. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> yes, bitch. Um, I actually don't care. Also, this is really fucked up because like this is coming from like my brain and like a flow of consciousness. I actually don't care about learning things that are important on an academic level. I'm literally an animal. I want to have sex and have fun. Uh, hedonistic yeah, literally like, we're I, on like, the same page why do I have to learn things like I don't like I don't it's give a all fuck. society bullshit that society <laughs> just made up I know we sound us. like every teenager like this is like this isn't gonna work in real life like I don't yeah. need to know this literally everyone in euphoria <laughs> um I, said, I wish I did learn how to pay my taxes. Yeah, that I, I still don't know how that works. I just, just have people I, do I just, it for you. I just hope and pray. <laughs> I just I give it a little prayer and I'm still here. I evaded my taxes for like three years and I finally paid them all this year. I finally paid for your balls, your ball surgery, your big balls. You wanted them enhanced and I gave that to you. I do. No, I you did. did. They're I did. big and... Uh, I mean, now you literally have to wear, like, something to hold them down. It's actually... I have to wear a girdle down there. <laughs> Grandma's um, panties. Why do I genuinely think I'm the smartest person on earth when I'm actually so stupid? Yeah, so right after that, like, academic thing, I actually think I'm the only person in the world who can make right decisions. Like, and I, and I believe that with my whole chest. Absolutely. I am right. I am always right. There's, like, no fighting that. Uh, but... You say that like kind of jokingly, but I, you have been right 92% of your life. Yeah. If you know what it is, it's like as stupid as I am academically, I have like pretty, a strong intuition. I have good intuition and like I'm pretty emotionally intelligent. So, and I'm also pessimistic and like that works out for me because I always am like that bitch is trying to do something slick and 
It always, it, it always is like that, man. I want to blow something up so bad, but I know I'll get addicted to it and become an actual problem to society. <laughs> I think what we need to do is we need to buy a building no, and yeah, blow it up. We need to buy or like rent out a like we need to like find a plot of land construct a little building and blow it up and no just... i want like big i want like a big big fucking building i've said this and before I... so we're on the same page yeah here. but yeah. I, I want like i want to like make a flyer and like give free we drinks need... so people are like tempted to go for like free alcohol because you can get anybody to go anywhere if you um if you put substance on a flyer. okay david dobrik oh my fucking god <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. You could get anyone to be in a four minute and twenty second vlog if you got some alcohol in there. Um, no, we need to keep touching on this before you move on. I Building need to keep destruction on you before I come die. on, come on, <laughs> clap me up. I'll no, clap, we clap up. we need to <laughs> we need to find building demolitions near us like no but the thing is i want it to be so fucking dangerous like have you ever seen one of those uh yes, demolition and, videos and, and like <laughs> something accidentally flies really close to someone's head and they don't die i need that like well, we I can want we that. can recreate that with tannerite do you know what tannerite is yeah it's the thing that tiger king was blowing up yeah oh, actually yeah yeah you can buy it over the counter at walmart in texas you can buy a bunch of tannerite we should buy and it's it literally and blow a, it up in the it's house. It's a legal explosive, <laughs> which is insane. But the reason it's legal is because you have to, like, you can't, like, just ignite it with a fire. You have to, like, shoot it with a gun. But we could get a bunch of tannerite and blow up a house with it, theoretically. <laughs> we would have to, like, literally have, like, an automatic rifle and, like, blow up a bunch of it at once. Yeah. Well, no, you just make a big pile. I guess you could just pile. blow one up. There's a and video. Then yeah, there's a video of someone do, putting a bunch of tannerite in a car um and shooting it and like a door from the car flies at them at like terminal velocity and they have to like dodge it it's like the scariest thing i've ever seen oh i just want to blow some shit up but yeah i know i'll get really addicted to it i know it like i know it and then i'll be like i can blow everything up and i'll blow someone up if they piss me off like i will if you give me the power i'll blow you <laughs> that leads to the next thing i said <laughs> this is, i don't know if i want to read this No. The last part, though, the last part is facts. Like, the netty part. The netty I part. Can't, I don't know why I can't read. I'm, like, losing okay, my brain. I basically, I'm going to say Actually, it. Actually, I'm losing my brain. <laughs> I'm losing my brain. Sucking dick is like using a netty pot. It literally can have the same effects. Personally. Like, it clears your sinuses? <laughs> yes, literally. Like, I literally, I've, like... <laughs> well, like, I mean, it makes sense. Like, like, if you press here on your face... Oh, something that I unlocked in Texas when I had COVID is I had one of those Thera guns, and if you put it on your cheeks while you have congestion, it like shakes it all out. And ch congestion is really just inflammation of the sinuses. It's not that there's snot up there; it's snot gets trapped up there, and it inflames your sinuses. So if you just massage it, and like you can just <laughs> what are you doing? What? That's I'm what just I'm saying. Massaging like, my face. Next time, next time, <laughs> your congestion just suck dick. <laughs> It literally works. Like, dude. But then you're going to give the person a disease. With your snot? With your cold. Okay. I guess. I have one note that I need to read. We need to save Mason Ramsey, the yodeling kid. <laughs> what is... Are y'all seeing that light? I'm not it's kidding. It's fucking Kai. It was literally <laughs> Kai. You I know like, what's thought awesome? I was like being like <laughs> schizoid. You know what's awesome? It's our reactions because my brain saw that in the corner of my eye and I was like, eh, whatever. I know, I saw it and I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, the the shield is thin. They're like, we're <laughs> combining worlds right now. <laughs> the veil is thin. If you see a lot of shit out of the corner of your eyes, the veil is thin. Oh, okay, I understand. Psychosis vibes. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Um, but What's we up need with to, him? Where is he? That's the thing. I don't know where he is. <laughs> we need to free Mason Ramsey. Okay, so Rebel Wilson and Mason Ramsey. They're Mason trapped Ramsey. somewhere. I think, okay, what made me write that down is like Mason Ramsey. Okay, cutting for, I'm cutting for Mason Ramsey. I'm going to start the hashtag cutting for Mason Ramsey. <laughs> Remember when, Cutting uh, for Axel Weber. No, do you know Axel Weber? No, but do you remember when it came out that like I know I think it came out that like Zane was smoking weed and like people were like cutting for Zane. Yep. Like people were so freaked out by like him smoking weed. That's gotta be the most traumatic shit to experience as like a celebrity. Like I'd be so fucking pissed. I'd be like, Y'all are dumb as Y'all aren't loyal enough. 
Our <laughs> viewers are not loyal enough. It's never once have I seen the hashtag. It's always free Kai, free Kai. Yeah. Like, I'm not <laughs> How, it's he, never cutting for emergency in a jump. <laughs> it's never cutting for Drew and Inya. Mm. No, please actually don't partake in that because I'll fucking shoot you. In the if face. you partake in self harm, so I'm not angry with you, but I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> <laughs> we can joke about it. We we're allowed to joke about it. Yeah, we are, baby. <laughs> What I'm sucking Drew's finger right now. But um, I'm gonna look into Mason Ramsey. People who are just listening don't know that that's a lie. <laughs> I'm gonna look into Mason Ramsey right now, and you can just carry the podcast, and I'll get some information. <laughs> so annoying. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, okay. Okay. Immediately. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is a bit. No. Wait, what is what is he singing? Is his like song, a- but he's working at Subway. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't, I think it's a bit. It's like when Trisha acts like she was working at Domino's. <laughs> he's in his Trisha Paytas era. That's toxic. If that's a bit, that's as far as I'll go. Acting like you're working, like just like a regular job. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Why are famous people obsessed with doing that? Being like, I'm just like you. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm sitting here, here like, now. have I done that before? Like, <laughs> as a bit? And I'm like, we did work the Heaven store, but it wasn't as a bit. We yeah, actually no, literally worked. That wasn't a bit. That was a vibe. That's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, some of, y'all, some of y'all are making bits, and some of us are literally creating. Curating I, vibes. I'm, I'm going to put my IG vibe curator. Like, because wow. that's kind of what I you am. You need to actually start that fucking app soon. My vibe curation. The vibe curation destination. Bitch. <gasps> VCB? Oh, VCD. <laughs> VCD tofu. Let's hit that spot actually soon. I'm going to fucking, fucking hit you hits. in the face, bitch. They got that um, really creamy fucking tofu. Come on. Come on, tofu. I'm in my meat eating era. I love I love a good meat you, in my mouth. You are in your meat eating era. She actually is. It's I crazy. I love filling my hole with meat. All of her orifices are just filled with meat. Yeah, it's honestly like it's toxic. Pores. Pores or pores? pores? Oh. Um, pores filled with meat. I literally, if you gave me the option every day to eat prosciutto with cheese, crackers, and honey. Specifically creamy goat cheese. Yeah. That cream. We did, We just love a good cream. We're, we're actually on the cream We team. love a good cream and meat combo. <laughs> we're on the creamy meat. Get the fuck away from us. Reach Don't touch his Reach a little further. Hand. Reach a little further. I'm going to If you want it up. so bad, you got to reach. Get in the, you got to get in camera, Come on. Man. You should get to me, too. Lift up. Oh, you're, are, you've been in camera this entire time. I just was looking at the wrong side. Like E.T.? Phone home. Hey, that's what, I'm going to make a rap called Phone Home. E.T. Phone Home. What? Okay, like, what, what does that E-T fucking... E.T. Hell. Like Lucas is saying. E.T.A. P.T.A. Paul Thomas Anderson. Speaking of, I saw Magnolia in theater, and it was different from how i remembered it <laughs> to be honest <laughs> Dude, that's honestly the most like like awesome review of a movie ever <laughs> like you literally i was so excited your jaw like like you went you went <laughs> like <laughs> no it was just underbite. i remember it being like a lot Good. better yeah it was it was <laughs> awesome and then what it was is the environment i was in let me let me paint a picture it was at the Beverly how are you, Cinema. Literally, how are you going to paint a picture? Bitch, I'm a fucking artist. <laughs> I can paint a picture with my fucking words. Um, it was 7.30 showing, dark outside, a little chilly, a little foggy. Um, we show up to the Beverly New, New Cinema, which is um, fucking Quentin Tarantino's theater that has to be on film. He's such a fucking weirdo about it, which I, am, I respect all of his weird quirks so much. But it has to be on film. And obviously that attracts the most disgusting crowd of people you can imagine, like cinephiles, like just gross people who are obsessed with movies, like immediately I said after. I something so bad. I know what you're going to say and just keep it, bite your <laughs> tongue, bite your tongue. Um, the most disgusting group of people that immediately after they watched the movie, they went to Letterboxd and wrote, saw no, no. on 35 millimeter, because we saw it on 35 millimeter, because it has to be on film if yeah, it's going to yeah. be in Tarantino's theater. 
Um, we pull up. We had our tickets already. Um, I'm gonna break in and play a DVD on these motherfuckers. <laughs> he would freak his fucking. He would lose his shit. I'm not kidding. He would freak out. Um, I just imagine the crowd of people that were there. It's just gross, gross people. Well, we sit down in our seats, and obviously, like we do a little trolling. Like our group of people were trolls. We do a little trolling. We're loud as shit. We're making jokes. Um, we're obnoxious, and the movie hasn't started yet. No one said anything, but I could feel eyes darting, and, like, it wasn't a good vibe that we had curated. So, like, we all, like, settle down. Um, we all immediately understand that, like, oh, like, we shouldn't be rambunctious in this because people are actually angry with us. So we, we chilled. We chilled out. And then I went to the concession stand because he played, like, 40 previews before the movie for some fucking reason. Um, and when I came back, someone had sat in the seat right next to mine, which, like, Okay, not a big deal. I was scarfing down my fucking hot dog. I ate the shit out of that hot dog. One of the best movie hot dogs I've ever had, if not the best movie hot dog I ever had. Um, and I start s smelling the smell, and I'm like, "Oh dear fucking god!" And it was like, it was like a shit odor mixed with the stale cigarettes, and like. Do you know, like, when you wear a mask like, a couple times, like, your breath, like, kind of imprints <laughs> on the mask, so when you put it on, it's not disgusting to you, but, like, if you smelled someone else's, you would, like, be physically repulsed? Yeah. Well, that smell was radiating from this person. So he had been wearing this mask that he was wearing for ages. Uh, uh, Probably maybe, since the beginning of the Maybe pandemic. months. Uh, potentially months. Um, and he sat down next to me. He... Um, just smelled like cigarettes, which I can, I can get past the shit smell and the cigarette smell, but what happened next was an atrocity. So like, it was a war crime. Like, I actually was, I should, it was a hate crime. Like, it was not okay. <laughs> um, he was sitting there, and he had taken his mask off. He was burping the entire movie, and it was the most rancid fucking burps I had ever smelt in my entire life. Like, like Stop piercing, right fucking furious, now. like hot fucking guttural deep gut burts, maybe from his descending colon, like <laughs> maybe or ascending colon, like maybe from like a part of his body that like burps have never come from before because they were rancid, like burn, Dude, I would have burn your eyes, up. make your eyes water. Burp. Yeah, I fully would have gotten up and moved. No, like and it was the entirety of the movie and i was sitting next to elsie and i was embarrassed because i was like i hope elsie doesn't think think i'm the one burping so and every pe periodically like he would burp and i'd like actually like gag i'm like <laughs> like actually about to start throwing up now like i'm not kidding it was like that bad my eyes are watering again i have watery mouth and you know when your mouth goes yeah, watery yeah. right before you throw up um I would like have to lean into her airspace to like breathe air when these burps happened and it wasn't like it wasn't like, oh, like once every 10 minutes. It was like once every five minutes. And it was so hard to enjoy this movie that I had already seen. And it's already the longest fucking movie ever made. It was three hours. It was a four hour affair, like the entire event. And like, I just like, that's why it was better or worse than I remember. But it's still a classic and the soundtrack is fucking incredible. But that sounds like a fucking, yo, dude, I, I fully would have left. I would have been so mad. I, I considered it several times and I was like I can't like make a scene in front of all these people um, but yeah it was really really bad that's just gross I don't even have anything to say it's just so nasty oh I'm um, like thinking about them Oof. <laughs> you're gonna cry um well I didn't see any fucking movies we were on a good one right before we left we were, I know like, it's on literally because I don't have TikTok so now I just watch movies oh wait on the plane, what did I watch? Oh, no, I didn't watch a movie. I read a book I was reading. Word. I've been reading more. I've been watching more movies um, because I don't have TikTok anymore. Should so I I'm delete like, TikTok live right now? No, I need I, it. I don't I know because one of the things I wrote was this. Um, also, I haven't had TikTok for like a week and it's, I think it's made me a bigger bitch because I have too much time to wither away and think about <laughs> things that shouldn't bother me. So I'm going to get it again, I think. Wow. Because like now I'm just like, instead you of being detox irritated. For a week. You detox for a week. Yeah, instead of being irritated with random people. But I think I still can't even do it. Like I realized I had it on my iPad and on the plane I started watching and I was like, I really don't fucking care to watch anything right now. Like I don't care to watch a TikTok. Like, yeah. That's it just, just not gives the nothing to the world. Yeah, it's just like not the content I want. And I was like, if I'm going to dedicate like even an ounce of thought, I'd rather dedicate it to a show or a movie because at least that's like 
not I, I'm I don't want to sound like an old bag and be like TikTok is so stupid because I do like I'm sure you agree too. There are TikToks that like do cater to like cultural importance and like they're teaching things and they're funny TikTok, and I love like. It. Yeah, there's like a lot of parts of TikToks that are really good, but for the most part, like at the core of it, which is also how I use it, it's kind of just like to look at yourself, to like see trends, like or that's not really, I didn't use it to see trends, but like a lot of it was like also fueling this weird game of like trying to find something first and like, I don't know, like I, I just don't, there's like such an undertone of com- competition and like insecurity in TikTok that it was starting to like really feed into me and i was like i don't like that like i don't yeah. want to carry that and like that's crazy that you thought about it like that because me jake um me and jake had like a really long phone call where we literally said the those exact things where it's like i, I think the introduction of like comments with like and being able to like a comment is like one of the most toxic things and like it rise to the top of like a comment chart like i think that's one of the most toxic things the internet has ever done because already the internet is an incredibly hateful place because like people i mean we perpetuate it it's like whatever yeah Um, but like being able to like say something really fucking hateful and then watch it rise the charts it just like triggers something in your brain to like be like okay like i'm gonna get addicted to saying mean things and hopefully it rises to the top i think also like not of course i know that i perpetuate like a lot of like hate and bitterness but and not to be like but i get a pass i think there's a really big difference between the like bitterness that's on tiktok it is so like driven into like it's like driven by morality yeah like morality and ego and like better than thou yeah like mentality that it's not a fun bitterness because i can get down the camera's not recording i'm not kidding shut the fuck up you're so annoying i can get down with like (laughs) Like, and what's crazy is for the first time, we're having a real, like, introspective conversation for, like, the first episode in, like, eight, and he has to cut it off. <laughs> like, <laughs> can't help myself. Um, but yeah, I'm down for, like, bitterness and, like, gossip and, like, being a fucking cunt. Like, I live for it. I love it. But something about TikTok, like, cuntyism is really, really deep. And, yeah. like, it's just a lot of anger. I think literally the pushing point was, which this is going to sound stupid, but, like, I saw this thread where people, someone said something about someone I know. And the sentence itself, I was like, this is a perfect, like, sentence to prove how fucking delusional the people specifically on this app are because it was a sentence along the lines of it was talking about someone i know which maybe this is biased but i think if it was about anyone i'd be like now you're pushing it because basically the sentence was like um i hate so and so and that they have this empire that they built they don't deserve it and oh. i was like do you hear yourself in that sentence like you hate this person because they built something it's not even like this person who i'm thinking of like comes from like money and like nepotism like it's not even like that you're literally the sentence you just said is insane yeah. it's like you don't just, think this person deserves the thing they thought. worked for lacking like, critical thought yeah it's just like it goes it's just think a little bit I, I'm the last person to say, think before you speak. No, Because but I literally... There really... I think there really is a difference. And I think that's why, like, me, like, we... Not that we get away with it. I'm sure there are people who don't fuck with how, like, bitter and, like, annoying we are. But there is something to be said. Because it's always been on the internet. Like, think about, like, Fran Leibowitz, for instance. She's bitter and, like, annoyed by everyone and frustrated to the core of her being. But she's a really good comedian. Yeah. And not to be like, we're really fucking good comedians. <laughs> but like, there is a difference between like, we say our stupid shit and then we move on. There's such a deep hatred in TikTok that like, there isn't a moving it's, it's on. It's kind of coming from a real place. Yeah, it's coming from a very real place. And then it's not fun. And I found myself like, because I am bitter, like leaning into it. And then I was like, I don't like this. Like, this isn't a fun game. Y'all are all so fucking angry. Like literally yeah. watch a movie like, i've said it so many times tiktok is the worst thing in modern history to happen to humans like it's yeah. so evil it's diabolical um will i stop using it 
Probably not because I am addicted and my brain loves the little serotonin hits. But I find myself like scrolling for hours just lost on it. And I'm like, what did I watch? I couldn't tell you the last video I watched other than Mason Ramsey. <laughs> that is a curious case. We need to figure that out. Um, But yeah, I don't know if I'll get TikTok again. Like I do miss it for like... Because again, in that same context, like I love a good serve moment. Like I love a good reason just for like being pretty. Yeah, like to get on there and be pretty and be sexy. And I like love watching other people feel themselves and whatever. But I don't know if I'll get it again because I'm just like maybe this is better that I don't do this. Um, and I have a lot of movies to watch. I have a lot of you got to catch things up to catch up with on the other side. So. I think I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill off TikTok. I did get it back to comment on. I can't say her name. Soli, so toxic thought syndrome. Oh I yeah. Did, yeah. I did. I did. I didn't have to re-download it, or I guess I technically did because I got it on my iPad. But whatever. Um. iPad I, baby. Yeah, I commented on her TikTok, but yeah, I'm I'm off the app. I don't fuck with it. It scares me. It's too much. It's too mean. And that's coming from a certified fucking cunt. Yeah. I feel like the second I'm like, this shit's too mean. It might be real. It might be like crazy. Cause I am a fucking bitch. Like. Also not to mention this like, like, like they, it made it where like anybody can feel like a, a tinge of fame. So like you like post a video and like you immediately go viral and then people are like, addicted to that i just it just like depresses people like it it, because like you get like this like you build this like really big audience but like it doesn't really translate and then i don't know i've just seen like a bunch of people like posting on like close friends and things like that that like came from tiktok and it makes me really sad because i'm like these people are awesome and genuinely funny people but like i don't know i don't know i haven't it's it's a very it's a really like recycling app or not recycling but it it like rinses through people like so quick and it's just like it's really not the turnover rate is crazy yeah it's just like not really good and like i think as i get older too i i don't know where i've said this but i've said this before oh i was having a conversation with a friend where i was like the older i get the i like really do feel bad for like the younger generations behind us because we we got like the internet where a lot of people use the internet for like using the internet's sake like it was just like Isn't it was a fun place to go and disconnect and like find things to be interested in and it wasn't so like oh in whoa tuned describing with getting on the internet as like disconnecting from reality like in a healthy way kind of in the yeah. beginning and now it's like you have to disconnect from the internet because it's unhealthy yeah it used to be like a fun escape from reality and now i think it's like it's it's this hyper reality that doesn't fucking exist it's like just all these i don't know it, it, it's a huge conversation but i was like i feel bad for like the younger generation because the way they get they have to use the internet now is really like intertwined with their real life so they have to be on it even though it's like unhealthy because like the thing is when we were using the internet and when people even older than us were using the internet like we were using it because we really liked using it, and now I feel like most teenagers have no choice but to use it because that's the only way to, like, to really connect with your friends. Relationships. Yeah. Um, that's and to keep why up with we you. need a decentralized internet, right, Kai? Yes. We need an internet, peer to peer owned internet, not owned by these evil corporations like Google and Microsoft and Don't Apple. Don't fucking say all that. We're not going to get our ads. I love Google, Microsoft, <laughs> and Apple. Please sponsor me. Um, but no, genuinely, like, if it wasn't controlled yeah. by these, like, money-hungry corporations, like, it would be a fun place because that's what it was in the beginning. It was, like, everybody but I like, mean, learning like, what it but was. But when you really think about it at this point, it's, like, so far past that. It's just now it's it's human nature. It's always no, been human I nature mean. to want, like, like, fame and, like, attention and to feel seen now it's just on such a grand level that like no that's what i mean it's like in they like infected our lives with it like they like pushed it onto us in like very unhealthy way like now like you literally cannot survive without the internet basically i had i had this idea i heard this quote um that jim carrey said where he's like i wish everybody could experience fame so they could know that it's not that great or something something along those lines yeah and I feel, I, I do think that TikTok's really bad, but 
I, what my optimistic thought was that it's almost democratizing fame so much that it is allowing everybody to experience that thing that Jim Carrey was talking about. And part of me is like, I don't know, maybe we'll see like a mass disillusionment to fame and we'll see like, since everybody will get their 15 minutes of fame, everyone will learn that it's actually not that great. Hmm. But I think if anything, it's getting people addicted to it. Like, and, and it's making it more... I think, it's like tangible. It's like just out of reach. It's yeah, because like like, it used wanna... to be like, oh, I would have to bust my ass to be famous. And now it's like so tangible that people get it for a little bit and they don't get to experience it maybe on the level that Jim Carrey did. So it's, it's like such a small like context of what that means that they're like, oh my God, if this is what the little bit tastes like, I want to know what the big part of it tastes like. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, I, I, I guess I do get that though. But I'm just very pessimistic and I'm like, look at all the fucking like influencers we've seen that just like, yeah, but yeah no, but th- there is some good to it because like, I guess the one up about influencers is because they're so like humanoid to the public eye, like versus celebrities. They're very like this ethereal thing that you can't touch. They, they feel so out of this world. And with influencers, there's a lot of cons to this but the pros of it is with influencers they're held at such a human standard that they really get like you really just start to see that like oh these are people making like a lot of mistakes which the con of it is then it like fuels this idea that like you're not allowed to make mistakes yeah you're not allowed to make mistakes and like but i guess it is like a little humanizing to the idea of like what it is to be a celebrity but there's still that weird divide um yeah that could I'm gonna shut up because I could like go on about this forever. We should blow up the TikTok servers. I was gonna say we should blow up the letterbox servers. We should get all the cinephiles into one theater to go watch um, Blue Valentine or some shit, like some really sad shit that they're like, "This is the the epitome of like this is the fuck." I always fuck up that word. (laughs) Epitome. This is the what is epitome? Like that's not a word. I made that shit up. I think that's how it looks like it would be pronounced. It's like epitome. No way. Epitome. Epitaph. Oh. No, it's literally because that's how it looks like. It would be pronounced. <laughs> the epitome of fucking sadness. Or I'm trying to think of like a cinephile. Like this is a classic. Like there is no beating this. Every time I watch this movie, it's so good. Um, what, like Taxi Driver? Phantom Thread. Fight Club. Or oh, yeah. Wall Street. Nah, a Fight Club, they'd be like, it's, that's really? Blurry. We're still talking about no, Fight no. Club? A real one is Casablanca. <laughs> I've never seen Casablanca. Isn't that that olden ass movie in black and white? Yeah. The Artist is a really good black and white movie. Have y'all seen that? And it's a silent film. Who would have thought? Um, <laughs> um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, we should get them all in there and then blow up the letterbox um headquarters while they're in the movie so Uh, all of them get out their phone at the end to go leave a review and it's not loading and then we watch them all freak out and then mm. um what's that uh that explosive you were talking about we 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 blow it up but not like to hurt them but just like around so they all get really scared and then they never watch another movie again yeah we like and we can all just go on and enjoy every movie we watch and it doesn't (laughs) have to be this like weird like i don't know we've set up these like Never mind. Never mind. There's all the rules. The rules to cinema. Why can't I enjoy Marvel and then also enjoy good movies? Like, why does it have to be one or the other? Why can't I like Spider-Man No Way Home and then enjoy Chunking Express? Exactly. Why can't I watch both of those in a row and be like, this was the best night of my life? This is... I've said it before. I'll say it again. Anytime I watch a movie, it immediately becomes my most favorite movie I've ever watched immediately i've been catching up on all the fucking classic 90s movies and i'm like why why are y'all so weird like 90s that, was n- full of fucking monsters but they're, they're all such good movies so whatever yeah i i can't fight the truth um with that being said let's get into media first it'll piss you off what is it um something first it'll piss you off then i'll set you free it's probably the other way around what is it god damn it but first, it'll piss you off. It'll set you free. But first, it'll piss you off. 
God. Literally me when I watch all the movies that are popping on. The truth will set you free, but first it'll piss you off. Hey, bad bitch, wanna be, be my bitch? Hey, but I don't like the yeah, hey, hey. Okay. Um, my media of the week. He, he. Dude, I got into another conversation about he who shall not be named. Um, mm. um, surrender by your mama. Oh, what the fuck? By suicide. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, wandering star by Portishead and so far away by Charlie XCX. Mm, mm. I've been on a binge of Charlie XCX and Sky Forever and Lana. Charlie, it, did ha- you listen to like Pop 2 and stuff or her OG stuff? No, I'm listening to like, okay. uh, what's it called? Uh, my Something Romance. Wait, oh, True Romance. I was thinking My Chemical Romance. <laughs> um, True Romance, such a good fucking album. Literally undefeated. Like that album, no matter what year I listen to it, like it is so fucking good. Sky Forever, Nighttime, My Time. Yeah. Like, come on, get Tat in, it up. Tat it on your get body. into it. It literally is. Yeah. Like, it... I actually need to get a couple of tattoos removed, but that's a different conversation. <laughs> um, okay, mine is Latin-esque. Actually, I think I've said that one. It's okay. Scratch that. There's no people. Um, Between the Bars, it's a cover of Between the Bars by Chris Garneau, Garnier. I surrender. Um, then we got You Are by Lionel Richie. Um, hey, Rich Boy by The Millionaires. <laughs> what the fuck? Yep. Um, I just got a bunch. And then since I watched Magnolia, one by Amy Mann. What's that? Um, that's when I played. Um, one is oh, the oh, loneliest yeah. number. Um, my movie recommendation, um, Happy Together. Hmm. Curious. Haven't seen that one. Uh, it's another One Car Way movie. It's really Oh, good. wait. Let me see the cover. It's about the, the two guys. Oh, are, no. I haven't seen that one. Um. We're like dating and stuff. Okay. I watched Magnolia. I good. Right. Watch it. It's probably Paul Thomas Anderson's like magnum opus. Um, and then I watched the most disturbed movie I have ever seen more in my dis- entire Oh, okay. I was going to say more disturbed and I was literally going to mention that one. Yeah. Um, the skin I live in. Uh, be forewarned. It's, it's really it's, fucking gnarly. It's gnarly as shit. There's a lot of movies that I watched that I'm like, this was a good movie, but it's really gnarly. But I don't recommend them on the podcast because like, I don't want to like start up too much conversation but like if you guys want like good good uh plot and story and screenplay and good writing the skin i live in is a classic but be forewarned like there is some gnarly very gnarly and like it could be triggering for Um, yeah yeah dark um tones in it um, but that director has like re like a crazy yeah if it it, pedro what's his name yeah uh I don't know how to say. Um, Pedro Almodovar. I really want to watch a bunch of his movies. Um, we should watch one tonight. Yeah, that's the one that we saw at the Academy Museum. Yeah. Yeah. I really want to watch. Um, I want to watch the one when he shrinks down and becomes a little person and goes into that girl's vagina. <laughs> that one looks good. That one. What is that one called? I can't think of it. Oh, it's, I think it, that one's Time Me Up, Time Me Down. But I don't remember. All right. No, that's not that. Oh, fuck. I can't think of the name. All right. Well, that was this episode. Thank you for listening. Um, Peace and love. I put on a new bracelet that I player. just found. It says Green Friday. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, I just found it. I went through all my shit recently, all my drawers and my... Um, my Heidi spots that I put all my sentimental stuff and it was really great. It Aww. was awesome. I found so many little things that I'd forgotten entirely about. I found a Philips Hue light just hidden away. Oh, um, where are you going to put it? I think I'm going to put it behind my desk and have, it's one of those like ones that like shoot up at the sky. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put it behind my desk, I think. Um, or maybe in the plant corner. Um, but yeah, I recommend 
go through your little things, your pile of little things that, that you now. haven't seen or touched in years, and you will be super happy you did it. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for listening. See you next slay. Bye. Bye.